was um it's great it's a funny story i was i i was introduced to this guy and i don't mean that way right i and just introduced you know this is uh as uh civilians right and um his name was joe joe russo from long island and his father was was a friend at one time with colombo as while he was alive and um it's funny because two things happened just quickly. The guy was acting like a trying to act like a wise guy. Now I was a friend at the table, and one of the guys was with me, knew the guy, and he started talking about prison. And I was under the impression that the guy did a lot of years in prison. So two things when the guy embarrassed himself. One the guy told him who I was and two, the guy told him how much time I did. And he turned around and said to me, Oh, Mikey just told me, you know, you were away with him and how much time you did. Gee, I feel stupid. He says, you know, I only did a couple of months in the County jail. <laughs> I thought this guy did a whole bit. Right. Well, it's a big, long story, but to cut, to cut to the chase, he had a, a, a cousin that was there. I just, Tom, it was just like I met the guy right then and there. I never knew the guy before. And when I went to go get my car, the cousin came out of the restaurant and told me, listen, I want to, my girl is cheating with this guy. I, you know, I, I want to kill the guy. You know, you think you can help me out? I looked at him like he was not. First of all, is you don't, that's not, that's not something that, you know, somebody should approach you with. And, um, and I had mentioned it to this guy that was when he told this, you know, this guy, Joe, and he was upset that his, that his cousin would, would even ask me something like that. But that was the craziest. And I looked at him like he was crazy. Like, you know, you, you know, but that was the craziest thing that someone's ever said to me. Interesting. So, so you never disappoint John. So you get out, I think in 07, which is basically when social media started you know rising you know facebook yes. um obviously you now instagram which you know you're active on now yes but to be candid um you know i remember reading an article in like the daily mail about these like slain wise guys one you know young kids new kids on yes. the boat showing like stacks of cash the girls this that and you know just couldn't help me think about you know i don't think it's as prevalent here with wise guys they're not like on facebook running around but some guys are so give me kind of like your experience, you know, what social media is, you know, maybe it sounds stupid, but what social platforms were you on? What were some of the guys you knew on? Was there official edict that came down from the administration? No social media. I know it sounds funny, but like it's a reality. So give us kind of like the state of the mob in social media in, you know, 13 to 17, you know? Well, I could tell you that you are not, you're not permitted to be on any social media yeah. and you shouldn't be on social media, but I see that, you know, and heard of guys that were, there was, I've never heard any kind of, um, I never heard any kind of, um, you know, um, rule or any talk of, Hey, don't go on social media. You're not allowed. I never heard any of that. It was nothing official, but um, you just knew that you shouldn't be on there. You know, you, you you know, if you're a friend, you shouldn't be on social media at all. And I've I've heard a story.